Hi. Hello. Hello. So, before the decision came to, you know, end the show at 15 seasons, was there ever a time you thought that you might end up doing 20? <laughs> Just every time I thought I would do 20. Um, you know, we, we took it season to season. I mean, for the first couple of seasons, we didn't even know, you know, we didn't know we'd be back for season three or season four. You know, the CW management early on was... They were in love with us. We, you know, we were just like the little engine that could. And they, you know, they kept trying to get rid of us, but they couldn't. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, people would joke about it. Peter Roth would say it like the 200th party. Uh, well, we're halfway there. You know. um, but I always thought, you know, we wanted to go out while we're still fresh. We didn't want to limp to the finish. Um, I think, you know, 15 seemed like a good round number to the guys and, and, and as producers, you know, no one, no one that worked on the show was going, oh no, we should go longer. So, I mean, everybody kind of bought into this and said, you know, let's, let's go out, you know, if not on top, of, while we're still good and, um, you know, not, you know, not die and go away, you know. And also, we always said that we wanted to be able to know what our end point was. Not, not do a season and then find out it'll cancel and not, not finish this story. There have been clearly hundreds of guest stars throughout the seasons. Was there anyone in particular you wanted to make sure you didn't bring back in the final season? Like you felt like their goodbye and their story was the perfect goodbye during the duration of the show that you could speak to? I don't know that we ever thought of that. I, I mean, I think you'd probably think of all the characters the way, you know, the death of Crowley, I thought had a real finality to it, and I think Mark really did a, a, a great job in that episode. Uh, I think it would be difficult to resurrect that character, but, um, yeah, I mean, you know, this year I think we're going to try to sprinkle in a lot of fan favorites, people that they haven't seen in a while, you know, in one form or another. Um, but I would, say, I, you know, I would say Crowley probably going to stay dead. <laughs> Can you tell us about what kind of an antagonist uh, Chuck is going to be in the final season? Well, you know, what we come to find out is that he's, he's been playing with the boys more than we, they would have thought. Um, you know, free will has always been a you know, sort of a staple of their, you know, their existence. Uh, what they sort of have to deal with this year is well, you know, they have free will within the maze. You can go here, you can go left, you can go right. But what they've really come to realize is they're still in a maze created by, by Chuck. Um, so their whole approach to Chuck and how they go about things is, is, is really sort of different this year. You know? And it's a little... I mean, there's a certain sadness in the beginning of, you know, we spent all this time and really what have we, you know, we've saved lives, we've done good things, but we've just been puppeted by, you know, by this guy and, you know, who, who would think that God is the ultimate villain, you know, I'm sure there'd be some religious people who would <laughs> not be too happy with that. <laughs> when people look back on the show, what do you hope that they take away as like the legacy of Supernatural? You know, I, I hope that people say, you know, they really gave us 15 really good seasons. They didn't, they didn't phone it in. They kept the show fresh. Um, there was always surprises. Um, that, you know, they clearly worked hard right up, right up to the end. That there was no, um, there was no slacking off. You know? And we're so determined this year to really make the best show we can possibly make and go out, you know, with, with guns blazing, so to speak. Is the door completely closed for future spin-offs? Well, we haven't had that much luck with these spin-offs we've tried. <laughs> um, you know, and I think one reason for that is, you know, finding Jared and Jensen and Misha is not so easy. You know, we we're so blessed with the casting on, on this show. Um, so, uh, you know, I think after the last experience, we were just saying, well, let's just kind of cool it on the spin-offs for a while. Concentrate on making this the best season we possibly can. I know that 
sometimes throughout the years, Eric has sort of been told what's or been updated on what's been going on and everything. Has he been told about like the ending? And has he Eric has been. Anything? He has been. Well, actually, Andrew and I are having dinner with Eric next week. Oh. Um, <laughs> he actually has been told the ending, and he he kind of likes it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Is it different from what he thought it might be? You know. He, he, Eric always said he had a five-year plan. I always said Eric's five-year plan was to get the hell out after five years. <laughs> um, but, you know, he did his apocalypse. And, um, you know, Eric's been... Um, I mean, he always speaks very kindly of me, which I appreciate. Um, he's been supportive of everything he's, we've, we've done since he's, since he's left. Um, and why not? He gets a check every week. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, so you know, I'll know more after we have dinner with him. But I, I, I you know, I, I think he'll he'll be fine and be happy with, you know, with what we've done with his baby. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.